so next topic in html is forms so why we use forms in html so if you want to create any login form contact form or registration form in the web pages okay we are going to use forms in the html so what are the form controllers in html and what are the uses and what are the properties in that we will see now so the first controller in form is input tag okay that is one of the important tag in the forms so in this input tag we have some other properties okay so the next the tag is text area next tag is select tag so these are the some of the main tags now individually we will see how we use in the program so first tag is html tag next head after head tag we will take title in title i am taking sample html form in that i will close the title tag close head next is body tag open body tag close close html tag so these are the basic tags we are going to use in every program so i am just giving the title as html forms okay now in body tag i am going to create one form so before creating that one i will save this file save i am saving in desktop instead of saving directly in class folder i am saving you can give any file name you want i am giving it as forms dot html so that is the name i am giving now when you open the class folder in that so our file is forms so you can open in any browser what is the default browser you have said that in that you can open you can change also i am changing it to google chrome so open that one so this is a page now page is empty now in that i will create the form so first i am taking one center tag so our entire form will come in the center of the page in that center tag i am taking one font tag for that font i am giving some size some color okay now in that font tag i am writing application form close font tag save it in the web page refresh see you are getting application form in the center of the page in size 7 you are getting in the size 7 so next thing for this application form i will give line underline hr in that hr i will give size is equal to 5 color is equal to blue so all these tags font tag hr tag we have already seen them save it now come here refresh so you are getting horizontal line just to separate that and this i will give width also for this one some 400 i am giving save it here refresh so you are getting horizontal line up to the text only now for the page i will give some background color bg color means background color in that i will give some background color any color you want for example i am giving light green color save it come here refresh so you are getting light green color in the background of the page now this is the basic thing. now what i will do i will create the form below this one 
So create any form. It might be registration form or it might be login form or it might be any contact form. If you want to create a form in the HTML web page, we are going to use form tag. What is the tag we are going to use? Form. Open form. Close form. Next, in that form tag, we have one property called name. We have one property called name. In that name property, I am giving F1. Means, for example, in the same page, I have two forms. To identify from which form we need to take the data, we use form names. For every form controller, compulsory we should give names. So, names are given for identification purpose. So, always give form names. So, we have other properties also in the forms that we will see in the later classes when we are using JavaScript code. But till now, I am just using the name property only. I am taking one table, for the table I am giving alignment as center. Why I am taking table in the form? Because if I create form directly, the form will come zigzag way. That means they will not come in a proper order. If I take that same form in a table, it will arrange that form properly in rows and columns. That means our form will be arranged in proper rows and column wise. To get the form in a proper order, I am taking one table. Table means you already know, table consists of rows and columns, TR and TDs. By using TR and TD tags, I will create one table. In that table, I am going to create my form. So, I am taking first one row, TR tag open, TR tag close. In that TR tag, I am taking one TD, means I am taking one column. So, in that first column, I am taking user name. So, that is the name of the column, close td. Next, in the next column, to enter that user name, I need one text box. We call them it as text box. So, create the text box. What is the tag we are going to use means input tag. I input, input type. Type is the property in that we need to give text text. If I give input type is equal to text, what will happen? We will just see in the output. I am just writing input type is equal to text. No other properties I am giving. If you want to give, I said now for every form controllers and form options, we will give names. So, for this text box, I am giving one name T1. Save it. Come to the page, refresh. See, you are getting username and you are getting one box beside that one. This box is called text box. So, username beside that we are creating one text box. In the text box, I can enter any username I want if I use. Whatever the username I want to keep, that username I can enter there. So, this is a controller where I can give the text field. Now, for this text field, I will give remaining options like size. So, default size is 20. For example, if I give 20, there will be no change in the size of the text box. Now, instead of 20, I am giving it the size as 40. Now, you refresh that box size or text box size is increased now. Now, I will decrease, save it. Refresh, see now box size has been decreased. So, 20 is the default size of the text boxes. So, this is the default size. Okay. Now, another property in the text box is max length. This is also one of the important properties. We are going to use this one. For example, if I am giving max length is equal to 6, save it, come here, refresh. Now, in this text box, if I enter R, A, N, J, I, T, R, N, six characters I have entered. I am trying to enter more characters, but it is not coming. See, I am entering, but it is not displaying in the box. Because I have given the max length property to six. So, 
so i am giving the max length property to 6 that's why in this text box now if i am trying to enter i am entering but it is not displaying there because the limit has been exceed now i cannot enter more than 6 characters in the text box so this is how to limit the text box that means how many characters that the text box can take we can limit that one by using this max length property so this is a very important property for this max length so this is the first controller what is the first controller text box okay. this is the text box for example i have taken username next form controller is so i am taking another row for next controller hmm. same i am taking again same td okay in that td i am giving password so now in that input type is equal to password if i give input type is equal to password it will create a password controller for this some name t2 now this for this password controller also you can take the size and max length property which you have given in the above the same properties size and max length also you can take for the input type password also i am not giving here just we can take those also now i am giving like this close td save it here you refresh see you are getting username below you are getting password so username i will enter for example ramu121 some something i have entered password i am entering some password what is happening see the password is not visible it is coming in dots why because for password controller we should use type as password only whenever you give type is equal to password that will be not visible that will be not visible it will come like stars like this ok so this is about password controller so these are the two basic controllers we are going to see in almost all every web pages forms ok next one is so i have multiple options among that user i should allow the user to select only single option that means among multiple options user should select single option for that what is the controller i should use example i am taking it as gender now i am creating a column gender what are the genders i should get there uh, male female those two genders i should get there now so to create that we use radio buttons we call them as what radio buttons input type is equal to radio these are all input type controllers only input type radio name is equal to r1 like this i am creating one name now after this radio button that radio button for which option we need to write that name there this is for mail for example i need to write the text there compulsory because this text only will be displayed on the page now beside the text you will get the radio button same thing i am copying i am pasting here instead of mail i am taking female now at the end i am closing the td tag see i didn't open another td see this td is opened here and it is ended here this is the td it is in one td only these two controllers are in one column only don't create any third column we have only two columns the first column is about names second column controllers first column name second column controllers don't create third column okay now save it refresh see you are getting gender and you are getting two radio buttons circle buttons those are called radio buttons now user can select only one option if i select male it is selected 
if i select female male will be automatically deselected see deselecting now male female male female like that this will be deselected so whenever we use radio buttons what will happen among multiple options user can select only one single option example i have taken gender uh, you can take even cast also you will see another thing also cast so i am creating one column cast same thing input type is equal to radio name r2 first cast oc i'll just copy that one paste 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 uh, instead of oc bc sc like that i am changing the cast st okay now here you close the td tag now you save the file come here refresh see you are getting four options among that it will select only one see among that four only one option only it is possible to select now so when you observe here for the both radio buttons i am giving name r1 only here also for all the four controllers i am giving r2 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 only so whenever you are creating controllers of similar type that means these all four controllers belongs to cast only so they should have same name only if you give different name it is not possible compulsory we should give same name r2 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 only for all the four here also r1 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 only because these two belongs to gender these four belongs to cast that's why all the controllers which are of similar type should have same names that is the important thing here so whenever we use radio buttons whenever user want to select single option among multiple options next i want to select multiple options then what is the controller i am going to use for this one means check boxes example i am taking languages previously selecting single option among multiple options now selecting multiple options for that we use check boxes we use check boxes input type is equal to check box you give any name your wish the names you can take any names i am just taking the names which i can remember that's all ah uh, cb1 means check box 1 what is this check box for telugu language like that i'll just select it copy paste paste the next language is hindi the next language is english save it okay now come here refresh now i have three check boxes i can select three if i want if i don't want i can uncheck them but this is not possible with radio buttons see only one thing only will select here i can select multiple so that is the use of radio buttons and check boxes radio buttons single option check boxes multiple options example i am taking languages now in this check boxes when i open the page itself automatically one check box should automatically come selected for example if i open the page itself telugu come telugu should be come selected automatically for that here we have an option called checked what is option checked is equal to checked we should write checked is equal to checked save then what will happen you see automatically see automatically telugu language is coming selected that means by default telugu will be selected for all users the remaining languages he will select like that that means this is a default option enabled for all these things now so this is about check boxes radio buttons and password 
and user id means text box the next controller is multi line how to create a multi line box the multi line box can be used for addresses comments feedback anything for example i will take address as the example close td I'm creating one multi column now. Text area open. Text area close. Now in this text area, I'm giving one name. Anything T3. Save till here. See text area tag should be closed compulsory. Input tags will not close, but Text area tag should be closed compulsory. Save it. Here refresh. You are getting multi line, but you are getting in small size because I have just given only name only. Now in this text area, we have rows and columns. For example, rows five, columns twenty. Save it. Here refresh. See, I am getting. One multi-line box. Okay, so five rows, twenty columns. You can even increase. How much you want, that much you can increase. For example, forty columns. See, forty columns. I'm giving just thirty. Okay, so this is a multi-line. So if you want to take or if you want to create a multi line see i can enter the text now see something i am entering in multi line it is going in multi line like this if you want to enter any text in multi line we are going to use which controller text area so text area is a tag by which we can create multi lines in the forms the next option is list example you can take cities list countries list states list date of birth months list days list like that example i am taking city how to create a list in the form to create list we use select tag give any name close select tag in the select tag i need to take option the first option is select option you any cities names like that i am taking how many cities you want that many options we need to type i am just taking some four five save it come here refresh now you see you are getting one drop down list this is called as what drop down list in order to create the drop down list we are going to use which tag select tag we are going to use which tag select tag so if you use select tag you are going to create this drop down list among the list you can select any one option for example i have selected hyderabad like that from the list you can select any option you want okay so this is the important thing so in order to create these types of lists i am created cities list you can take for country state okay example we will take date of birth also in the same model close tr open tr close in that td in that td i will take what first option mm, date of birth mm. after that i will create one select name 
in that I am giving some day. That means here I will create days. Close select. Here inside I will take option tag. So always the first option is dummy option or you don't give any value in the first one. From second option I will take the days 1, 2, 3 like that I am taking some up to some 7, 8 options I am taking. You just change the numbers. These are just days. Like that I have taken some 11 days. Save it. Refresh. See, you are getting days. So before that, if you want to write, you can write day. Or before if you do not want, you can take after or also. Okay. If you do not want, you can remove, remove that one. I am taking another select name is month. In this, I will create months list option the first option is always empty option or a dummy option from second option we are going to create the actual values now i will take months jan feb like that in shortcut i am taking if you want to take full you can take full mar april may June, July. So, you want you can take any options. August, September, like that I have taken up to September, you can take up to December. Or you just copy this. I am just giving in shortcut. Okay, now you see, come here, refresh. See, so I will select day, I will select month, next year. Next, what we will take? Year also we will take. First day, next month, next year. Select name is equal to year. Close TD here. Option. First option, empty option. Second option onwards, I will take some years. 2010. Something I am taking the reverse order years. Some 8, 9, 10 years I am taking. I am just taking them in the reverse order years. Save it. Come here, refresh. See, first day, next month, year. Like that, you can select his date of birth. So, like this, this is the examples for what? These two are examples for lists, drop down list, cities list, and date of birth list, days list, months list, year list. Okay? So, next one is to upload any files, to upload any files. Example, I am select taking as resume. 
or if you want to upload any image, anything. If you want to select any file from the system, how you are going to select? That is the important thing here. That means I should get browse button there. How to create browse button? You can take resume or anything you can take. Now in the next column, I am taking input type is equal to file. Input type is equal to what? File. For that, you can take any name, anything res in shortcut, I am taking resume in shortcut res. Save it, come to the here, refresh. So, you are getting choose file button. Click it. So, it will browse, it will come system browse. You can go to any location, emails, anything file you want. Select open that file, it will be uploaded there. It will be shown. See the file name, it is showing now there. You can again click, you can again change. Click, you can again change. Like that, but you can select only one file only. You cannot select two, three files because it is used to select only single file by default. Okay? This is about resume, means file controller, input type file, means it will allow us to select any file from the system. So, if you want to select any file from the system, we are going to use this file option. The next thing is, the last ones in the forms are buttons. Okay, different, different types of buttons we can create in the forms. So, there are three buttons we can create. One is submit button, another one is reset button, another one is just normal button. Submit button, what it will do? It will submit the form details which we have entered. That means, whatever the data we are entering in the form, if I click that submit button, those details it will be submitted into the next page or another page. How the data will be submitted, how to take the data in the next page, we are going to see in the later classes that is in JavaScript and when you are using PHP concepts, we are going to learn that one. At present, the data will be not submitted to anywhere. Just by using submit button, it has that power to submit the data, that you remember that one. Now, I will take one input type is equal to submit. Name example b1 here in buttons we have one more thing called value so what is this value means whatever you write inside that value tag that only will be displayed in the output screen for example i am writing it as register save it if i take register there so you are getting register button there now for this i am giving call span i already explained in the tables call span means mixing columns i am columns in the two columns center i am creating the submit button just like submit button copy that you take remaining two buttons also just change the type the next type is reset reset button it will clear the all the data next is only just a button it will not do anything just a dummy sample button for this value I am giving the value it as clear. For this, I am giving the value as sample button. Save it. Come here. Refresh. See, three buttons. See, if I enter some data now, something here, username, something password, I am selecting mail, some cast, some language, some data, some option, some date of birth. Everything I am selecting, I am selecting some file also. Everything, the form has been totally filled now. If I click clear button, see what happened? Automatically, the data which I have given has been removed or it is been cleared. Means, the form has been resetted. Means, the whatever the data we enter, that will be clear automatically. That is the power of reset button. Submit means register. If I click this, this data will submit to the next page. That we will see in the later classes. But if I click sample, see nothing is happening. I am clicking, but nothing is happening there. So, this is a total form controllers. These are the total form controllers. When you just see the overview of the forms, the first one is username that is text box. The next controller is password. For gender, I have used radio buttons. 
so radio buttons are used to select single option among multiple options to select single option among the multiple options that is called radio buttons two examples i have taken one is gender another is caste languages means among the multiple options i should select multiple this is called check boxes this is multi line to create this multi line we are going to use text area tag city list list of cities date of birth days list months list years list this is file controller input type file submit button reset button and this last one is just button so this is the overview of the forms so when you see the code again first i have taken one center tag in that center tag i have created one heading for the form next thing is for the form i am taking name i am creating form in a table so that it will come properly first controller is text next one is password next one is radio buttons next check boxes next text area multi line text area means multi line select select means list but to create that list we use another sub tag called option first option is a dummy option like this just a message to the user same date of birth also same resume means file input type file to upload files submit button reset button and just normal button okay so these are the total html form controllers